I hope you enjoyed part one of the wool stitch tutorial. Now we will um, be filming and showing you two new stitches that I used on the 2016 free uh, Buttermilk Mason block of the month. And those are the fringe on the muffler, which has been really popular when people have seen what I've been doing. And that's with a lock stitch. And then I did a little bit of French knots in the um, frame of the hat. And so those two stitches are coming up. The next stitch that I want to share with you is my muffler fringe. I have never been fond of the mufflers that didn't have the fringe off it. And I, I kind of like a little bit of an embellishment stitch to it. So the way I do that is I bring my stitching down on the muffler with a whip stitch. So I have whip stitched from this point to this point and I continue with the same thread unless you want to change it to a different color but um, I'm going to make my fringe the same color as what I'm stitching the muffler with. So I bring the thread up and then I decide how about how long do I want the muffler to be? Now that isn't like a really important issue because you're going to cut those strings anyway to whatever length you want, but you want them a certain length to be able to decide that. So I bring the thread up, I hold it with my thumb, I go down right next to where I came up, and I make a loop. So there's my loop and it doesn't matter how long it is because you're gonna cut it off anyway. Then I'm going to come up on the outside of the first spot I came up with and I'm going to bring this thread across the top of those two threads by going down just next to the second thread and that is going to lock that those two threads in place. So now these two threads that make up the one loop are locked into place. So then I come up next to that thread and I'm going to make my second loop by going down right next to where I came up and I'm holding that thread and then I'm going to go on the outside of those two threads and come across the top of them and go on the outside of that second thread and lock it into place. So now I've locked these two loops into place. As you can see, I've made a lot of loops by coming up one hole, holding the thread, going down the next hole right next to it and then coming back up and looping over the top of the two threads to make a secure loop. It doesn't matter that these are all different sizes because I'm going to cut them off. You can also go back over and make a second set of loops if you want it thicker or if you want two colors. But now that I'm satisfied with my loops, I am going to cut these off. So I'm cutting the bottom of the loops off. And then I've got my little my little fringe for my muffler. And then I've taken my needle and I continue on with my whip stitch and I'll come back around here and do the second set of loops on my muffler and my snowman will then be very happy. In between all the ins and outs of the different shops that we decided to look at, um, I continued to stitch and so now I have just about finished my buttermilk basin block. So as you can see, I finished the fringe and that was with those loops that I cut off the bottoms of and made it look just like real fringe. You can't really tell the difference between the blanket stitch 
and my whip stitch but both stitches are used on this block so I have no problems doing an entire block with the whip stitch um, there's some purists that uh, think it should all be done with the blanket stitch but you know I get it done fast and I'm happy with the results you'll also notice that I decided to make my little um, cuff on my hat um, kind of fuzzy looking and I did that with some French knots. I just wrapped the needle three times and just went around the edge and then sporadically uh, put a French knot here and there. So other than that all I have left are to add a button. I'm going to put a snowflake button on his hat and I have some tiny little buttons at home for his eyes and um, I might do something in the little star but pretty much that is a pretty simple block to stitch and I had fun doing it and it doesn't matter if your stitches aren't perfect because it's primitive and it's fun and it shouldn't be stressful so now we're tucked back in we're gonna get warm we're gonna have happy hour and Enzo Hey Enzo, come here. Say hi to everybody. Where is everybody? Huh? Is it time for happy hour? Where's the cookies? Where are they? See you later. So now you have four stitches under your belt to get started with um, wool stitching. I hope you'll enjoy that as much as I do. Um, I love everything about wool. It makes your hands soft and there is scuttlebutt that there's a wool a block um, kind of like the row by row that has been so popular but this is a, a, a woolly block that will be coming out in October and I heard that from Becky at uh, Shibori Dragon so I'm kind of excited about that and it'll be a really great way if you're just starting with wool to um, start with a small 8 inch block and will be somewhat of a holiday theme so looking forward to that Yesterday, we spent the most awesome day with the Twisted Sisters and the men in their life. So, um, we went out on uh, Gabby's boat and we went up Gig Harbor all around, I think it was Fox Island. Uh, it was an absolute stunning, stunning day and we went to under the bridge that um, G tell me, tells me is called a galloping, used to be called Galloping Gertie. Now there's uh, two bridges side by side, each uh, flowing traffic the opposite direction off the island. And that day was just spectacular. Of course, that was after uh, an equally enjoyable time at Shibori Dragon, um, where now my wallet is a little bit lighter. And then in the evening, we had dinner with everybody uh, on the deck of Robin's gorgeous house. Now, you'll see all of that um, either in slideshows, uh, on the quilt show, the woolly blog, and then G's going to be um, putting together a nice video um, on the next video of our time out on the water. It really filled the soul and I can't tell I can't thank the sisters enough for a fabulous, fabulous day. Um, we just needed that so much.